Pop 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 persuadable. What's going on, everybody? Look at my puppies here. Hey, Bandit, say hi. Bandit, don't be rude. Bandit, hey, hey, run camera, say hi. Say. No, nothing. No, okay, nothing. I tried. He doesn't like y'all, but it's okay. I like y'all. That's honestly all that matters. So um, I've received a lot of messages about how to counter the coordinator and the forward. Apparently, um, a lot of people who are going on, not necessarily Reddit, but some of the other uh, various platforms are saying that coordinator and forward together on the same team is overpowered. And I will show you how I counter it. Typically, just for reference, um, I typically use the clown or the geisha, but this time I like to use the clown. I use the perk excitement or rather trait. And my build typically is from north to south. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. And I'm going to also explain why I do some of the things that I do. I'm also going to highlight what the coordinator does wrong in this match. I'm going to show you what the magician does wrong in this match. I'm going to show you what the thief does wrong in this match. And I'm also going to show you, did I already just say this? I'm going to show you what the forward did wrong in this match. I'll even show you some things that I wish that I could have done a little bit better. So hopefully uh, you guys can learn a lot from my own gameplay. I'm realizing that a lot of people are asking a lot of questions about different maps to different machines on different maps and you know I realized that instead of always just addressing each individual topic if I just take full gameplay over time you'll be able to gain little bits of information from everything all right guys uh, you gonna say hi you gonna, you gonna say hi say hi to the camera don't be a jerk you're making me look bad oh you're so cute all right enjoy the gameplay guys Arr. What's going on, everybody? So, uh, there's been this new little trend that I've been seeing a lot of, of a coordinator and a forward um, being on the same team. And I'm going to show you exactly why this is a horrible idea and a very easy way to counter a coordinator and a forward. And how do we do that? Well, we use Joker, or rather the clown with his big popsicle stick, and we use excitement. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do this. In fact, um, I actually have no problem uh, going against this sort of combination and I'm going to show you how I overcome this combination right now. And uh, in this video here, I'm actually going to move around a lot. I'm not even going to camp them or not camp as much, right? There's nothing wrong with camping. If you have a problem with camping and you just don't understand the basic dynamics of the game. However, for this video, I will do my best to kind of move around, show you how I multitask, how I delegate between um, survivors sometimes. And, and a lot of people have been asking me, when are you going to come out with a Joker guide? I'll explain that. Typically, I actually like to go towards this little house early game. Now, I have my attachment, and I am not using my attachment yet. All right? I typically like to get the first hit on somebody before using my, my infinite rocket dash. So I can see that the coordinator is running this way, and we're, we're going to... We're going to chase after. She's already done a bad job. This, this is the worst part of the map. She just runs right out in the complete open. Uh, this is one of the weakest parts of the Sacred Heart Hospital. Um, and she instantly ran right over there. So that was me kind of swinging a little bit late. Uh, pretty bad. And I actually... She was able to get the pal down. I don't know what I was doing there. I was just kind of rocket dashing while drunk or something because I, I was really going back and forth this is the biggest mistake a coordinator can do don't ever use your flare gun during a kite don't ever do it unless your the exit gates are open now it's going to be super easy to not only kill her but when somebody rescues her she doesn't have her flare gun so do not use your flare gun like that ever ever if i ever play any of you and you use your flare gun i am going to yell at you in the lobby all right so we got the coordinator down we spanked her booty like it was 1995 <laughs> i don't know what that means all right so now the forward's gonna try to run into me and do his pointless thing as usual and i'm gonna use my excitement there now if i knew he was going to hit me i actually would have active activated my excitement beforehand so i was a little late on that and i'll show you what i mean by that a little bit later um so now let's see we got the coordinator down and i'm kind of what i did is i is i really want to make sure that uh i step away from any object so the forward can't get me right there and I know that I have a couple of seconds to really just take some of these guys down. He did a good job flashing me right there. And the reason being so is that when it comes to a forward, it's very easy to counter him. All you got to do is get one hit on him. You get one hit on him, he's going to be very, very scared to charge in after you. So sometimes when I down somebody, um, I'll instantly go after the forward for a couple of seconds to try to land that first strike. Um, 
because if he tries to charge back in, then at that point, I'm just going to kill him. Um, so now we're going to go put him in timeout. Uh, somebody cue the Vaseline and the spatula because that's exactly what's about to happen here. And we're going to keep moving forward, right? So I'm actually allowing them some, some ability to rescue their own teammates. And I'm moving around. I'm going after multiple people at once. Um, and then I'm going to show you what the mage does wrong here. So again, he's running to the weakest part of the map. I'm just going to keep running forward and randomly hit. Right, so you got to be careful with your illusion guys right uh, a lot of the times it's it's sometimes better to hook back but when you just run forward like that i'm literally going to see your illusion and i'm just going to keep running straight and i'm going to randomly swing and i'll kill you most of the time uh, so you got to be careful with using a, using a magician like that so this is me trying to time this correctly I actually um, this is a, a, an easy way to usually kill somebody um, it's a it's a method that I'm still trying to practice. You hold your second skill down, and I was actually uh, I actually missed him, and I'm gonna go after him just because I was bitter that he was able to outsmart me, <laughs> and I'm gonna leave him there, right? Actually, no, I'm gonna pick him up, and now here comes the forward. I'm gonna activate my excitement, and this is why I love when it's two of them. Look at that, he does nothing. He's just useless. And yep, so we're gonna put him in timeout, and I can so I actually swing right there and I miss. So that was a good illusion. I actually ended up missing it. I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna get him down, and I can, I can hear the sound, and I know that the forward is over here just wasting time because that's what forwards do. They waste time. They're useless characters, and what they try to do is they try to wait for you to pick up somebody. So really, it's very easy to counter a forward, especially if you're using excitement. You just be patient. You look around. You don't just instantly pick up the person. Um, you really make sure that your surroundings are clear, especially since I know he's injured once. Um, if he tries to come charging at me, I'm just going to swing and hit him. Uh, so we're going to put him back in timeout. So we only got one person killed. Out of all this, we only got one person killed because I'm just running around and these dudes are just coming at me like ants. All right, so what I'm going to do now, sorry, I had to go inside, guys. I have no idea how I missed that uh, attack right there, to be honest with you. He went, like, right through a wall, but whatever. Don't be bitter. Move on. And, <laughs> and that's me missing him again. And now that's not me missing him. Thank you. So sometimes you really have to delegate between when is it better to just... Uh, go after somebody else and get more than one person down and put them on a rocket chair. So I felt like that thief got a decent amount of distance from me. Um, not too, too much, but uh, I know he's still lingering over there. He still wants to go for the rescue. So we're going to take these pallet downs. Take this pallet down. Oh, dear Lord, that was bad of me. <laughs> and now we're going to go charge and we're going to go after him. We're going to take him down as well. So I'm going back to the chair because I couldn't see if the coordinator was around. Um, so I don't want them to rescue. I've already allowed them to rescue way too many times this match. And uh, I'll, tr I'll try my hand once at getting her. But now I just, you know, I could keep going after. Actually, I probably should have. Um, but I lost track of time a little bit. I didn't know how long the thief has actually been down for. If you look at his indicator, um, he's been down. Uh, this is his second time or third time. So I didn't want to you know, really open myself up to him kind of healing himself and then being able to rescue again. So that's why you see me going back, really making sure I secure both of these kills on this rocket chair. And um, they both die instantly. I, I actually wasn't expecting that. And then the coordinator is able to kind of uh, get away. She was able to lose me here for a second, actually. She was able to do a nice, nice loop.